Okay, hello and welcome, it's Dr. Red Pizzle here, and, and this video is going to be a, a little bit on um, vitamin B12, which is otherwise known as, uh, as cobalamin. Okay, so I'll write vitamin B12 and cobalamin up here for you. Okay, so what is important? It, what is important about this particular vitamin? Well, this vitamin is important for a number of different functions, and it, one of its purposes is for the myelin sheath. Now, I, I've actually done a video that isn't specifically related on the myelin sheath, but because the myelin sheath is associated with neurons, I've actually done a video on neurons. So I'll write up here title uses for this particular vitamin. Okay, so myelin sheath. So the myelin sheath is the sheath that surrounds neurons to aid the transmission of electrical impulses around the body. Um, electrical impulses you can, can also substitute for the word action potentials. It basically means the same thing, that they're just essentially sent down neurons at, uh, and, and they sort of enable the body to like send out particular signals to alter, to, to, like, to, enable, to enable the neurons to alter particular things about the body. So neurons, like, for example, might 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 make a muscle contract to like pull your hand off like a hot saucepan or something. Uh, that's one example of, of one use of a particular like electrical impulse being sent down neurons. Okay, so one of the uses of this vitamin is to aid the production of the myelin sheath, which helps helps aid um, transmission of, of nerve impulses down the particular neurons. Okay, so um, so so one of the other functions is in red blood cells. As, as I probably mentioned before, like, a, a number of different like B complex vitamins are are associated with red, red blood cell production. Um, you, you've probably, probably seen like like in a lot of videos as well. One of the deficiency symptoms of a lot of different types of vitamin B tend to be anemia, um, and, and it's actually no different for this particular vitamin. So I write up here deficiency, um, deficiency. Okay, so it's it's anemia again, but it's actually a different. It's not a different form of anemia necessarily that I spoke to you in my last video, but that but this particular form of anemia is known as as pernicious pernicious anemia, pernicious. Okay, so that's one of the one of the, one of the deficiency symptoms. You also can get ma mania and fatigue. Uh, mania is just like when you're in, you're in a in a state of manic, um, in a state of manic. That's that's not right. Um, it's essentially just where you're you're sort of hyperactive and you're and you're like in a state of complete madness almost. Um, then you can also get like things like depression and gastritis. Depression. Gastritis. If I could spell that, that would be better. Gastritis. Okay, so so what is gastritis? Because you're probably in, interested in, in sort of in sort of learning a bit about that. Um, well, well, gastritis is where your stomach lining actually thins out. So, stomach lining thinning. Uh, so you're probably thinking, well, why is that important? Well, well supposing your stomach lining thins, um, it's going to be less able to, like, to like help help contain the stomach acid. Um, so, so 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 supposing your stomach lining is sort of eroded away. Um, that's going to obviously cause like some irritation around the stomach area, and and it, and it can lead to sort of a whole manner of digestive problems as well because your stomach is is sort of sort of the main hub of where the majority of digestion actually takes place in the body. Okay, so, so that's one of the sort of main that's just one of the deficiency symptoms. All these are, are, are quite sort of major ones. Um, there's a whole manner of like minor ones, but I'm not really going to go into those today. Um, the other thing you should be aware of for this is the purpose of it is with myelin sheath red blood cell production but I also forgot to mention that it's involved in the nervous system. Now it's, it's sort of like regarded, regarded as a separate reason but it links in with this myelin sheath because the idea of myelin sheath surrounding the neurons actually aids like the, the transmission of electrical impulses which are associated with the nervous system so essentially it affects that. Um, affects that in, in, like the nervous system in general, but it affect one of the one of the means by which it does affect it is via this myelin sheath. All right, so, so that's a few of the uses. Um, so how much of this vitamin do we need per day? Well, we need 2.4 micrograms per day. It is sort of sort of primary for an adult. A micro is it, it is it like corresponds to the Greek letter mu. Okay, so that's 2.4 micrograms, uh, and this funny U is the Greek letter mu. Okay. So, um, so this 2.4 is for an adult, by the way. So I should probably write adult there. 
Okay, so, so we've got the uses of it, we've got deficiency symptoms. You're probably wondering, well what, well, what can you actually get if you have too much of this vitamin? And to be honest, there's not really many sort of side effects with having too much of this vitamin that are known anyway. So I'm not going to go into, into that because there isn't really much to talk about from that point of view. Um, the, 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 sort of, the majority of the, of the symptoms are for, from a deficiency and you can't really get too much of this vitamin because and one of the primary reasons of this that I haven't mentioned yet actually is that this particular vitamin is quite hard for our bodies to absorb. Um, so, 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 so supposing you take a 500 microgram um, supplement, I actually write this up here, a 500 microgram supplement, you, your body may, may only be able to obtain around 1.8 micrograms from this. So MCG I'm using instead of the Greek letter mu, I hope that doesn't confuse you, but MC um, micro, micrograms it essentially means the same thing as this Greek symbol mu. Okay, so that's just 500 of those. All right, so so from that 500, you, your body will only be, able, be capable of absorbing about 1.8 micrograms. So so as I've mentioned, look, as I've mentioned now, it is quite hard for our bodies to absorb this. Um, oh, oh, also, also, I'm going to go with you. I'm going to go through with you now some of the food sources of it. So you've got things like fish, meat, and eggs. Okay, so so meat are the sort of primary source. You can get little bits from fish and eggs as well. Um, Right, right. So, why is this a particular problem? Well, this, the reason why this is a problem is because all the all these products actually come from animals. Well, fish is an animal, but but you get the idea that all of these are animal-related products, which means that that somebody who doesn't eat animal-related products may find it difficult to get enough of this vitamin. So, so that so the main sort of co of common deficiency of get, of obtaining this vitamin are vegans because vegans aren't supposed to re eat or they don't eat any any sort of animal related product or any product that can come from an animal or be derived from an animal okay so, so like these these all of these are actually derived from animals um, so, so that's why it's such sort of like an issue for vegans so I'll write up here issue for vegans but you can find sort of traces of this in products such as such as soya so, yeah, yeah for example soya like, like which can be found in in like various um, recipes and stuff, um, which which can actually provide vegans with the with the vitamin B12 that they require, but they do need to sort of, sort of be careful with the consumption of this vitamin because like these deficiency symptoms that are listed here um, are more common in vegans and people like that. All right, so so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, my next video will be on vitamin B13, otherwise known as erotic acid. Um, so I'll see you then. Goodbye.